Hey there everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to go over a question we had from Paolo. And Paolo wanted to know, hey, uh, I know that uh, you can get the the last column and you can even make a custom function or something to get whatever the last column is. So for example, if we were on row 8 here, the last column would come in as this one. And J is uh, 10, so this would come in and say, hey, the last row in on this row is... 10 and then but if we were on this one yeah, control left would reveal that uh, it would be H so th uh, for row 9 it would come back and reveal the number 8 uh, so but what he is wanting to do is he's saying I don't want to go I don't want Excel to go to the very end the very last column and then go control left to find whatever is the uh, column on the on the, from the right going to left, I want it to go from the left going to right. And the reason I'm saying to right, you'll see in a moment, is is kind of the key here. So whenever you're using, and, and notice what I clicked here, and I hit control right, and I went to the right, I went to right. Okay, so he, what he's wanting to do is, is he's wanting to go from here and hit Excel to reveal whatever column this is. This is number 5. Column number 5. If we were on this one it would reveal column number uh, 7. So that's what he's, he's wanting to get at. Not whatever is the rightmost one but the leftmost one. So going from left to right. You got that? Okay so the reason I keep saying that so annoyingly repetitively or whatever is because that's the key in the code. I'm going to hit control or excuse me alt F11. So I'm in the visual basic editor. This looks really familiar. This is one of the uh, macros I believe that I threw together in one of my first uh, videos. So he sent me this workbook back for I guess for me to rehash it with this lesson. But anyway if you debug through we're going to set up MR sheet to represent the this long string here that says my report and that's the sheet we're working on. So last row, our, our custom variable called LASTROW is going to equal uh, getting the, the number of rows, uh, so the last row basically, uh, and comma 1, so column 1, column A, and it's going to the very end going upwards. So that means it's it's taking to get the last row as you probably know it goes to the very last one on column 1 which is column A and it and it wants to go to the end going upward using xl up so dot end means going to the end so if you hit control up you see what excel thinks about it goes all the way until it finds something to stop at and it and it stops right here at, at uh, 10 so last row should be the number 10 because we're taking the dot row of this particular cell. And so yes, it dot end go to the very end until it stops at something going upwards, XL up. And it stops and then it reveals the row number dot row, the row attribute. So if I hit F8, last row will take on the value of ah, 10. What do you know? So, and then, but he's wondering about the columns, and I'll explain how we're getting what we're getting with um, the column situation and how we get what he wants to get. So, Paolo, listen up. Here's the good part right here. The first column, or this should say the last column. Um, so, we're taking the abbreviated sheet that we set up, the sheet, and then we're going to the cells function, and here's the Latin lawn, the latitude and longitude. I, it's not really, but okay, what row? Well, right now I guess we're concentrating on row 13 for whatever reason this one right here and we know visually that we're gonna get, land on number 9 here or which is I column I so uh, but here's let's break it down we're concentrating on row 13 and the columns dot count so that means the very last uh, column is what we're starting point. Our starting point is row 13. So let's do that row 13. And the very last column is way down here. Control right is right here. So and that's where we're starting. And then we move on to the dot end. So we're going to the very end until we stop at a cell that's filled with something. And we're going XL 
to the left, XL to left. Okay, that's going obviously leftwards. So control left is what it does, and it takes that and gives you the dot column, and the dot column would reveal number nine. So let's see, hit F8. Voila. Okay, so column nine. But he doesn't want that. What he wants is instead of going to the last row or whatever, he wants to go to row or column one, excuse me, column one instead of the last column, starting here and going to right. Makes sense. Instead of starting at the end and going to left, he start, wants to start it. So let's adjust this. Let's go back here, drag my little yellow arrow. So let's go back to the last line we were debugging, and let's adjust this. Forget the columns dot count. I don't want to count up all the columns and use that number. Let's just use column one, which is A. You could also say A using quotes. Let's just say uh, row 13, column one. So A13, basically. And we're going to the end, but we're going to go XL to right. And if it capitalizes it when I click away, then that's a valid feature there. So and it did. So we're going to the end going rightwards. If is that a word? We're going to the right and we want the dot column of whatever cell we land on. So let's pretend we're here, we go to the right, lands on column five or E if you will. So it should reveal the dot column of that, which is five. So if you hit F eight, the first column is five. So you could actually do that. I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to call this one the last call. And we'll do it both ways. So columns dot count, and we're going to the left like normal, like we did before. So we'll actually have both of them. So I've hit F8, F8. We see the first column is 5, and the last one is 9. And it very quickly breezes through that on, on row 13. Boom, there's 5. And it also revealed that, uh, boom, there is uh, uh, 9. So there's your columns, and that's how you can do the same thing with rows. Um, you can, if you wanted to start on, let's say you didn't want to use row one, you wanted to use, uh, or excuse me, column one, you could use column five, and you could go from the bottom and see what's the first applicable used column, and that would real uh, row seven. So first applicable row, excuse me, I'm getting backwards here. So you could use Excel down instead of Excel up from the cells, uh, from the rows dot count. You could just use row one and go Excel down, and it would, re and then take the dot row, and that would say row seven. So you can do it either way. So and that's how that works, and that's I guess all I'll say about it. But thanks for watching, everybody, and God bless.